Hey guys, it's Ocean here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make this um, brass knuckles peyote stitch. Um, I think someone already did a tutorial on it, but someone asked me to redo it. And this was requested by Manual37272. I'll put his name in the um, description box. So, yeah. He requested it and tried to get to it as fast as I can. So here's the tutorial. Um, so there's a lot of stringing through beads. So if you're not a very experienced peyote stitcher, then this might be kind of difficult for you. And I recommend you start with something that's easier until you know how to do this. Um, cause I don't know, maybe I'm fast paced or something in this video, but I kind of expect you guys to know how to like do the ladder and string through beads and stuff. So, yeah. Um, well, that's about it. Um, so, this is how to make the brass knuckles. Let's get started. Okay, so to make the brass knuckles, you are going to need beads. Alright, um, the bead cow is, you're going to need 52 of one color, which is like the, um, the actual brass knuckles itself. And then you're going to need 40 of a different color, um, preferably a dark color. This is going to be the fill-in color. Um, so, yeah, and then you're going to need string and scissors. I mean... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm using point five. So yeah, you guys can use whatever you want, your own judgment. So yeah, but I'm using point five. Okay, so you're gonna cut a piece of string, and like I say in every video, we can always tie on more. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm kind of hyper right now. Anyway. Alright, we are going to put on, we're going to put on two blues, two blue beads. Um, when I say blue, I mean like the brass knuckles color, the actual knuckles itself. Okay, so we're going to put on two of that color and then put your string together and put on one of your filler color, which, which for me is like this metal black thing color ish okay now I'm going to separate our strings and put on two of your fill in color the black then put your strings together and put on a black okay Separate your strings and put on. Hang on. Where am I? Okay. And now put on two blues. Okay. Now put your string together and put on. A black. Separate your strings and let's see, put on. Hang on, let me make this go right here. Okay. Now we're going to put on two blacks. Okay, and now we're going to put our string together and put on um, a black. Okay. And now we're going to put on two blues. Sorry, you can't see that. Okay.
Okay, and now put your strings together and put on a black. Set burger strings and put on two blacks. Sorry about that, my brother is calling me. Okay, now we're gonna put our string together and put on a black. And then separate your strings and put on two blues. Then put your strings together and put on a black separate your strings put on two blacks okay put your strings together put on a black Separate your strings and put on two blues. And there you go. Then all you gotta do is tighten it. Pull everything tight. and then tie it. Okay, so now you're going to take one of your strings and put it through the end blue. Okay, and um, we're going to put on a blue. Okay, and then we're going to put on another blue. Okay. And then we're going to put on two blacks. Oh, whoops. I put them on the same string. What am I thinking? Okay. One black, two black. Okay. Now we're going to put on two more blacks. And then two blues. Okay. And then, hang on, let me tie on some more string. All right, now we're going to take our string and put it through the blue that we just strung on. Okay, and we're going to put on another blue. And then we're going to put on another blue. Okay, and then we're going to put on a black. And then we're going to put on a blue. And then we're going to put on a black.
Okay. And then we're going to put on two blues. Okay. And then we're going to put our string down through that one that we just put on. The one, up, the one below it, right there. And let's see. Okay, so your blue, I mean your string should be coming out of this blue right here. And now we're going to string it through this one right here and this one. So put it through those two blues. Okay, so it should be coming out of this one now, and we're going to put on four blues. Okay, and now um, we're going to string it down through the one that we just put on right here. Put it down through that. Okay, and now we're going to put on a blue. And then we're going to put it up through this middle bead right here. And then we're going to put it down through the one below it right here. And then we're going to put on a blue. And then what we're going to do to tie it off, we're going to put it through this one, this one, this one, and this one. So one, two, three, four. So put it through those four beads. Okay, and once you've done that, you can make sure make sure everything's tight, and then you can tie it, and then cut it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, cut another piece of string. This is for the second half of the brass knuckles, which is, actually, which is bigger than um, the one we just finished. It's not really a half. It's a lot bigger. Okay, so you're going to take your string, and you're going to put it through the end piece of the end bead. It doesn't matter what side, because both sides are the same. Okay, 
I put it through this one. Alright. Excuse me. I just popped my neck. Okay. Now we're going to put on um, two blacks. Okay, now we're going to put on four blues. Okay, sorry about that. I had to make sure this was even. Okay, and now we're going to put on two blacks. And now we're going to put on a blue and put it through the black that you just strung on. Okay, and now you're going to put on a black. Okay. And then you're going to put on two blues. And let's see, now we're going to put on a black. And then two blues. Alright, and then we're going to put on a black. Okay. And then you're going to put on a blue. And you're going to hold it. And then you're going to take the other string that you haven't used yet and put it through the opposite way, which is like, you know, through the top. Put it through the opposite way the other one was put through and pull down. And then it'll switch strings. So, yeah. Okay, now we're going to put on a blue, we're going to put on two blues. Alright, make sure everything's tight. Alright, now we're going to put on four blacks.
Okay. And then we're going to put on two blues. Okay. And now what we're going to do is put it up through the blue that we just put on. And we're going to put on two blues. Okay, and now we're going to put on three blacks. So go ahead and put your three blacks on, and I'm going to tie on some more string. So go ahead and put on three black beads. Okay, so I put on those three blacks, and after those, you're going to put on um, two blues. Okay, and you're not missing anything. I know my hands in the way. I'm just tightening it up. Okay, I just tightened it. All right, and now um, we're gonna have to string through some beads. Actually, uh, yeah, we are. So let me see what we need to string through. Okay, so after you finished um, putting on these four. Your string should be coming out um, of this bead right here. And since we can't put, we need to put another bead on, but we can't put any, ugh, we can't put it through anything. So we're going to have to string it through some beads. And here's what we're going to do. Okay, so we are going to take the string that's over here that we haven't been using. And we're going to put it up through these two beads right here. Just put it up through them. Okay, so you put it through these two right here. And now you're going to put it through the one below it. This light blue, right? This blue right below it okay okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it through um, the blue that's below it right here this one here that one right here got twisted okay okay so now that you put it through this one right here you're going to put it up through the one right above it this one okay and now the string that's been over here that's been over here on the side you're going to take it and put on a blue like this and then take the other string that you've been stringing through beads with and put it through the opposite way and then you're going to pull down okay now all you have to do is string on your last blue beads, your last four blue beads.
Alright, so now we have to tie it off. Um, we're going to take our string, whatever one, whatever side, and we're going to string it through all of these blue beads until we get to this one right here. So you're just going to put it through this one, like a zigzag. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one, and then you'll stop. Okay, once you've strung through all your beads and you're coming out of this one right here, what you're going to do is make sure everything's tight, and then you're going to tie it. And then after you tie it, you can cut it. Okay, well, that's about it. Um, so after you cut it, you're finished. Um, I hope this was pretty easy for you, to, for you to understand and not too complicated. I know there was a lot of stringing through beads to make it work. But that's what we had to do. So I hope this wasn't too difficult to understand. And um, just so you know, if you're not very experienced with um, peyotes, then you probably should start off with something easier, like Pac-Man ghosts and stars and hearts and stuff. So yeah, and once you get better, you can do the brass knuckles and stuff that's more complicated. <clears throat> um, if you need any help, like this was confusing you, or there's like a certain spot that you messed up or need help with, just comment on the video and ask me, or message me and I'll get to you as fast as I can. So, yeah. Um, that's about it. Um, I enjoyed making this. It was pretty fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably put it on a necklace or something. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope this was easy for you. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.